YouTube. Welcome back to another product review in the Holtz Mitchell channel. Today we're going to be looking at this Lincoln Invertec. First off, um, I'd like to thank all the new subscribers to the channel and welcome them aboard. Uh, it's mighty appreciated. There's a couple big names in my humble list of, of uh, subscribers. And uh, to all of you though, a special thanks. Um, it's kind of nice to see that people are taking an interest to in what I'm doing. Well, like I said, today's uh, product review is this Lincoln Invertec. It's a V130S. It's not a very complicated machine, nor it's very heavy. It weighs about oh, 11 pounds or so, somewhere around, uh, if I remember right, 7 kilos or something like that. But uh, could be 6. I'm not sure. It's not very heavy anyway. Um, it's a very simple machine. It's a DC unit. Uh, goes from 0 to 130 amps, hence the designator V130. Let me zoom you in here a little bit, get uh, a better look of it. Huh. Everything's in mere reverse from the looks of it. Oh well. Maybe it's just the viewfinder the way it's set up. Anyway, oops, a little bit too close. All right. This machine is uh, for stick and TIG. As I said before, DC machine. Up here's your your amperage dial, on-off switch. Now that's it for for controls. There's no pulse or um, high freak start um, with the TIG unit here with the TIG torch. Um, it's scratch start only. So just a real basic little machine, not much, no frills, not very fancy, does the job. It likes uh, the, the uh, two and a half millimeter electrodes uh, about the best. Not sure what that comes out to in, in uh, Imperial, but uh, I've done 3.2 millimeter electrodes with it, so eight inch I think that is. And it does okay with that. Uh, the best range to operate this machine is between 70 and 110 amps, and this thing purrs all day long. It's never overheated on me or uh, given me a bad result. Here's uh, some uh, pictures of uh, a recent project that I just did. This is a scratch start machine, so you don't get the high freak start, and you get a little oxidation uh, sometimes when you start or stop, but. Uh, Overall, the penetration is always really good. Um, the qualities of the welds are always, of course, it's operator dependent, but still, the uh, overall quality of the welds is, you know, it's it's good. You you can't complain for the money. Um, this has been a pretty good little machine. So, as you can see, the results aren't. Uh, too terribly bad. Um, sure, there's there's better machines out there. You know, we're all familiar with uh, various brands of welders, and uh, you know, I seriously doubt that uh, anybody doesn't know about Lincoln, or you know, they're all pretty good. Um, it's it's basically personal preference. So anyway, with this machine, um, I've had a real good experience with it. It's no longer in the Lincoln products lineup. I think the lowest they go on this series is 160 amp. Um, they're not a cheap machine. I bought this one used. So um, for you guys out there that are contemplating buying a welder um, and not sure which one to buy, you know, or which one to get into, this would be a good starter machine. Um, it uh, it performs well and it's fairly forgiving as far as the the operation of it is concerned. Um, again, it's no frills. Um, pretty straightforward. Uh, I can't comment on, you know, I've, I've welded with Miller, Lindy, Hobart, Lincoln, um, and a few other brands that I'm not sure of. Um, I haven't had the opportunity to use one of these Chinese imports yet, so I can't comment on those, how good they are. Um, but this machine here was built in Italy and uh, seems to do just fine. Um, no complaints anywhere on this. 
Uh, for the price that I paid for it, uh, I really can't complain. Like I said, I bought it used. If I were to buy one of these new, I wouldn't hesitate in, a, in an instant. Uh, so far, this machine's given me nothing but good service. So, anyway, for you guys out there contemplating getting into, into welding, and if you see one of these running around in eBay that's in fairly decent shape, um, it's not a bad investment. Um, probably be worth picking up. Now, if any of you have had adverse experiences with these machines, I sure would appreciate to hear it in the comment section below. And uh, also your other experiences and recommendations for, for a good uh, introductory welder for folks that are looking to get started. So I hope that helps you guys in your decisions on what kind of a machine to buy for your, for your home shop or for your professional shop. And uh, thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you again soon.